Good evening. I'm Harry Keeling. On behalf of the Alaska Public Media and the Alaska Aviation Safety Foundation, welcome to Hangar Flying. Last time, if you were able to tune in, we had John Parrott on the program. John is the manager of Ted Stevens uh, International Airport and was talking about uh, a concern that is the weed infestation on Lake Hood to include the invasive species Elodia. And tonight, we, I want to talk about something a little bit different, and that is what's going on, uh, what else is going around in the airport. So, John, welcome back. Thank you, sir. You want to talk about the Lake Hood uh, Master Plan? Mm -hmm. We uh, we kicked the master plan off uh, several years ago. The, the last Lake Hood Master Plan was, I, I think, completed back in about 2006. So we were a little bit overdue, uh, but it didn't appear that a lot had changed in the, in the general aviation arena. So we kicked the master plan off. We're, we're working our way. Uh, we went through some public input to, uh, to help us scope what should the master plan look at. Uh, and, and we always get a lot of good ideas, some of which are, are master plan infrastructure issues, and then some of which are operational policy and procedure issues. And so we, we're, we're glad to get those. They end up just not being master plan issues, so we move them and, and we deal with them uh, outside the master planning process. But it's still good information for us to get. We're currently uh, finalizing with our consultant the forecast. Shows very modest uh, predicted growth in the general aviation community. Uh, a lot of that will be in the corporate side. Uh, and then we'll, we'll start developing alternatives for how to accommodate that growth uh, as needed at the Lakewood Seaplane Base. Okay. Um, recently, um, some coverage of uh, the discussions of Point Oranzoff and possible future land use. Mm -hmm. Can you touch on that? Certainly. That that deals more with the uh, with the big airport, the Anchorage International side, than the uh, than the Lake Hood side. But for for several years, as <clears throat> as part of a previous land trade in the 1990s. As part of the West Anchorage District Plan, which was a municipal effort that went through an extensive public process, that planning effort concluded that the city and the airport have some, some conflicts between ownership and use of a number of parcels of property, both on and around the airport. So the West Anchorage District Plan recommended that we, the city and the airport, get together uh, to see if we can resolve those. So there was a land trade task force put together that met 10 times with uh, community representatives, uh, legislative representatives, various city departments and agencies and the airport to look at were there ways we could resolve some of these conflicts. And the recommendation from that task force, uh, which came out uh, I think late last year, that recommendation was that yes, there were ways to exchange whole or partial parcels to resolve some of those conflicts. And, and the parcels that are really kind of the, the major ones were Point Warren's Off Park, uh, which by the way is not the parking lot at the north end, uh, just north of the wastewater facility. That's Point Warren's Off Overlook and is airport property and has been for many years and, and would be one of the pieces we might want to trade to the Muni. And then there's the Anchorage Wastewater Utility Plant. There's a large section to the south of that that is dedicated for their expansion and then there's a section south of that that is actually the dedicated Point Warrens off park. And I, and I only explain that because a lot of people we talk to think that parking lot is, is the park, and that's, that, that's not the area we're talking about. On the airport side, uh, Little Campbell Lake is airport property. Very high value, very high volume, recreational use by the residents of Anchorage. Connors Bog Dog Park is airport property. The airport is really not in the business of running dog parks, mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's really little opportunity to do aviation development uh, to the east of Jewel Lake, uh, up, up next to the municipal snow dump, uh, which is also on airport property, and which the municipality needs to make some improvements to. And then, uh, as many people remember, the, uh, the airport received from the federal government the old FCC property, and there's a section south of Raspberry that, that uh, butts up against Kincaid Park that we think might make a nice little addition to, uh, to Kincaid Park. So those are kind of the parcels that we in the Muni are looking to, to try to sort our way through. And the first step that we think uh, everyone has agreed uh, we need to do is to get the Muni on a long-term lease for the snow dump or snow disposal site uh, so that they can begin the process to make the, the EPA mandated improvements there. And we'll do that as long as we have a good faith effort to move forward on the rest of these parcels because quite frankly if we don't make any progress toward a land trade the FAA has been very clear with us 
that we are not in compliance with the grant assurances and we will have very little choice but to start charging for the recreational use of airport property and that's not really a path we're terribly interested in going down. John, thanks very much. That, that was a great explanation. Appreciate it. Our, I know our audience will. I appreciate you being on the program tonight. Certainly, Harry. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed tonight's program. Uh, and I, I would ask you to keep in mind it's brought to you by the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation. We're completely uh, member supported. If you are a member and you need to renew your 2015 uh, dues, please do that. If you're not a member, you can go to our website and become a member, and it enables to bring you this program twice a week. We also have two safety seminars a year in Anchorage. We have three scholarships that we give, all made possible by you, you all being members and supporting our organization. Until next time, fly safe.